Medical thoracoscopy or pleuroscope it's a minimally invasive procedure which helps in the visualization of pleural space. The equipment used is a semi-rigid pleuroscope. It has a rigid shaft with a flexible distal end. By moving the flexible tip in different direction, it helps to overcome the limited view, as well as helps in homogeneous distribution of talc during pleurodesis. It's indicated in diagnosis of pleural effusion of indeterminate origin. It helps in the staging of lung cancer with pleural effusion. It also helps in the hormone receptor determination in breast cancer and culture in tuberculous pleurisy, staging of pneumothorax and in also diffuse lung diseases or in localized chest wall or lung lesions. Therapeutic indication is done in cases of malignant and chronic effusion as well as recurrent non-malignant pleural effusion for tall portraits. It's also indicated in pneumothorax as well as in paranemonic effusion and empyema in conditions for opening of loculation. So what are the absolute contraindication? When the size of the pleural space is less than 6 to 10 cm, usually due to extensive adhesion. It's contraindicated when there is respiratory insufficiency requiring ventilatory support, as well as in pulmonary artery hypertension and in uncorrectable bleeding disorders. The relative contraindications, it can be due to intractable cough, hypoxemia and unstable cardiovascular status. So there are basically two types of thoracoscope. One is a video assisted thoracic surgery or surgical thoracoscope which is done in general anesthesia which I will be discussing later in coming sessions. The other topic of discussion was medical thoracoscopy or pleuroscope which is done in local anesthesia. Thank you.